Greetings, gentlemen. Welcome back to another Revive Project. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one, we're gonna be reviewing the second generation of the Pokemon games. Well, one of them, uh, actually, the one that I've played through with, as you can see, a really bad hair day. Uh, <laughs> so let's not focus on that, and just gonna go focus on the review, pretty much. Um, so, on we go. Um, the Pokemon Silver game and, well, practically the whole generation, Silver, Gold and Crystal, are the second part of the installments for the Game Boy Color um, and the Game Boy Advance uh, that have been released with the second generation um, of Pokemon that um, have been a really popular series, especially with the first one. Um, it was a great hit. Um, as if you guys recognize Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow, um, which have been a great hit uh, throughout the years, they still are one of the most popular games. Um, with Pokemon Silver and the second generation being not that far behind, um, because the second gen Pokemon and everything were still um, one of the best. Um, in my opinion, these were actually the best that have been made. Um, this was probably the first Pokemon game that I've played. Um, I, I know I've played Yellow and the others after, um, after this one. So this was pretty much the start of my Pokemon experience as I was a kid. Um, so, as we go throughout the gameplay, um, the game pretty much focuses on you as Gold, aka Silver, aka Crystal, however you'd like to call him. Um, Gold is the kind of official name, um, who goes pretty much roaming around the Yoto region um, to become the Pokemon Master and complete the Pokemon League of the second season of Pokemon. Um, so the game pretty much features all of the Pokemon from the first generation um, and basically focuses on the second generation because the first gen Pokemon are pretty much um, more or less available um, after the the original part of the game, after the Johto, when you go back to Kanto. Some of them are already available uh, throughout the Johto region, but most of them can be found in the Kanto region. Um, so, as we know, the story pretty much focuses on you becoming the Pokemon Master of the Johto region and beating the the Pokemon League. Um, after that, there's an addition, um, especially with this one, to go... Well, after defeating the Pokemon League, you unlock the option to go to the Kanto region and defeat everybody there as well. Um, the whole region has pretty much been changed a bit. Um, there, It's not as you remember it in the original games, and the progression through the gyms is a bit different. Um, since you start out with the one, two, three, or fourth gym that's kind of in the original games, um, but it still poses pretty much a good challenge actually, because the trainers and the gym leaders in the Kanto region um, have their Pokemon leveled up to a to a point where they become they actually become quite hard if you don't know um, the types advantages and disadvantages but um, after getting through the whole Johto region and everything you kind of learn them even if you have no idea what anything does um, so yeah um, the story after the Kanto region there's a pretty much kind of <laughs> you could call it a DLC um, it has a secret to it as well. Um, after defeating all of the Kanto region gym leaders, you can actually proceed on to Mount Silver, where you find your final challenge, and um, you can go and face Red in one final epic battle to see who actually is the Pokemon Master. That is probably one of the hardest battles um, up till today, actually, in the whole Pokemon series, because Red's Pokemon are highly leveled, and the whole... all of his five Pokemon, or six, um, are kind of really well rounded up together. They, they do have weaknesses, but you still have to... 
um, try quite hard to beat him and use a couple of items, um, kind of focus on the type advantages and disadvantages to pretty much get through it. So, I'd recommend this game to all of you guys who have played the Pokemon games before this, um, who are fans of the Pokemon uh, series and pretty much um, love these kinds of games. Uh, so that's pretty much going to be all from my side for this one. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and join me on the next one.